Well, good morning, South Lake family and friends, and blessed Thursday. I'd like us to read this morning Psalm 13. Let's start in verse 3. It says, Turn and answer me, O Lord my God. Now, from the very beginning, the psalmist is expressing a sense where he feels that the Lord is turned away from him, that the presence of the Lord isn't paying any attention or giving any regard to, to his life. Turn and answer me, O Lord my God. Restore the sparkle to my eyes. Don't you love that? What a great phrase. Return the sparkle to my eyes or I will die. But I trust in your unfailing love. I will rejoice because you have rescued me. I will sing to the Lord because he is good to me. So that's a great way. I always look at the verbs here. Trust, uh, rejoice, uh, and sing. Great way to start every day thinking in terms of those three expressions of, of action towards God. And he says, I trust the Lord because of his love. I rejoice in the Lord because of his rescue. I sing to the Lord because he's good. God is good. Life is hard. So many times we know that, but that God is good in the midst. But it's this phrase that strikes me, restore the sparkle to my eyes. Let me read something I read from a Bible scholar. He says, the ancients believed, the ancients believed that the light came from the eyes and the sparkling of the eye was one of the reasons they believed this. One theory of why the eyes sparkle is that when a person feels strong emotions, it can be positive or negative, that the tear ducts release extra fluid, which reflects light. And that often happens, especially, it says, when a person is joyful. And so the psalmist, again, not feeling the nearness of God or the presence of God, he doesn't feel it. And he's just very honest, saying, Lord, I, I need you to restore this sparkle. Restore the joy to me. I'm not, I'm, we're living in a dark world. In fact, let me read it in the Passion Translation. It says, take a good look at me, my God. Breathe your life into my spirit. Bring light to my eyes in this pitch black darkness. See, we live in a dark world and we feel that every single day, don't we? And for some of us in particular, we can go through certain weeks. I don't know if it's what you're experiencing this week, but we can go through certain days where we're feeling it's very dark. We don't feel God's light. And yet the Lord in the midst of that wants to, for you and I, his followers, his children, he wants to bring a sparkle. He wants to bring a sense of joy. He wants to bring a sense of life and love and living to you today. It is all part of living in Christ because, um, as it says here, he is a good God. He is a good God, regardless of the darkness that is around us. And so that's my prayer for us today. In fact, let me pray now, Lord, we commit this day to you, every one of us, Lord, regardless of what we're going through. We thank you that you've called us to follow you today, and so we will, by the grace, by your grace and the power of your spirit. We pray you lead us. And Lord, we just commit now this day to you, but we ask you, Lord, especially for any of us that are experiencing something less than, than the happiness that we'd really like to experience, Lord, we pray you'd bring the sparkle to our eye today. And may we keep our eyes on you, Lord, because I believe that's so key to experiencing that sparkle of your joy. So fill us to that end today. We commit the day, commit our way, commit our life, Pray, provide for, protect, and direct us, our children, our families, our church family. That's our prayer in Jesus' name. Well, amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. Have a great day. Praying for you today. Talk to you in the morning.